Hello, welcome to AI Factory. In the previous video tutorials, part one and part two, I introduced Minimax, also known as Hiluo AI, a powerful text-to-video tool. After testing various prompts, Minimax proved excellent at understanding prompts, maintaining visual beauty, capturing film quality, handling camera motion, and stabilizing footage. With your creativity, we can make mini movies using it. Now, Minimax has upgraded its plans and offers a three-day free trial. The free plan allows three videos to be produced daily, but you can register multiple accounts to create more videos. If you need to get more videos, the standard plan is a good choice and based on my extensive testing, it is worth it. In the previous video, I summarized key elements for creating high-quality mini-movies. Story, characters, visual style, and using AI editing tools. Next, I'll demonstrate how to make a simple mini movie. First, I used the free version of ChatGPT to generate a script. I chose a sci-fi theme popular with young people. Craft an exaggerated, unique, and captivating short story about aliens and humans. Make it novel and engaging. ChatGPT quickly wrote me a short story. Not bad. Next, I asked it to give me 10 prompts for scene images from the story, including character appearance, camera work, visual style, setting, action, sound, effects, themes, editing, and emotional impact. It generated 10 detailed scene prompts based on my request. We can use details like sound, effects, and editing during the editing process. However, these prompts weren't very cohesive, so I had it make 10 smooth paragraphs for me based on these. At this point, we could use these prompts to create images. But to generate video effects similar to examples from Minimax, I pasted these prompts back into ChatGPT and asked it to regenerate 10 prompts with a cinematic and horror style. It did so, providing more detailed descriptions of the aliens and the cinematic and horror elements. I forgot to include the main character Jim's appearance, so I asked it to add Jim's appearance to each prompt. It then regenerated 10 image prompts, including both the alien and main character features. Finally, I can use these prompts to generate a video with Minimax. How's that for a starting point? I pasted the first prompt into Minimax and generated the first scene. It's quite impressive. Jim's appearance, actions, camera work, visual style, color tone, etc. are all well done. Especially Jim's step-by-step -step approach and his vivid expression of fear, it's incredibly lifelike. Recently, Minimax added an image-to-video feature, allowing users to generate videos using their own images. If you have a satisfactory image, upload it here, paste the prompt, and hit send. After a short wait, you'll see. There are still 2081 people ahead, expected to wait for 14 minutes. As more people use it now, the wait time has increased. Here's the video generated from my uploaded image. The video size matches the image size. So since my image was square, the video is two. The facial expressions and actions of the characters are very well done, and the background is nicely filled in. However, I chose to paste the prompts written by ChatGPT one by one into Minimax to directly generate the video. A little tip, to achieve character consistency, include Jim and the alien's appearance in each prompt. This helps maintain consistency throughout the video. Just like that, using this method, I got my videos ready for the next step, editing. I use CapCut, a powerful AI video editing tool, to edit my videos. I'll list all the AI tools I use in the video description. Feel free to access them. You can use CapCut online or download it to your computer. Start a new project and import all the necessary videos. Drag the videos to the timeline in story order. I'll demonstrate how to edit a simple, engaging mini-movie example with six videos. In the close-up shot of the third video, Minimax vividly captures Jim's expressions of despair, terror, and hopelessness upon encountering the alien. In another video, you see Jim's shock, horror, and desperate leap into the abyss. 
I want to use it as a background for the third video's psychological context, which would better reveal Jim's inner turmoil. To achieve this, place this video below the third one. In the video options on the top right panel, click Remove BG to remove the third video's background. There's an auto-removal feature that should do the job. While it may not remove the background perfectly, it effectively conveys Jim's chaotic emotions and the underlying video, creating the exact visual effect I want. Give it a go. At this point, you'll notice each video has a Minimax watermark. We'll use another tool to remove it. Go to the B-Cut website and click Remove Watermark from Video on the right side of the screen. Upload the video with the watermark. There's a crop box. Adjust it to cover the watermark and click Erase. Wait a few seconds and you can download the video without the watermark. You can only do two files at a time, so reload the page for the next two videos and continue until all videos are processed. Head back to CapCut, import the videos without the watermark, and drag them to replace the originals. Now all the videos are good to go. At this point, I can enhance each video with effects to make them more realistic. Click on the Effects menu, and in the search bar, type Mist. Since the first video already has a mysterious, frightening, warlike setting, adding the mist effect will improve it. Drag the effect to match the length of the video. Let's take a look. Click the eye icon to toggle this layer on and off. Does it look better? In the second video, we see a close-up of Jim shivering in fear as he walks forward, followed by the alien. To emphasize his fear, I used the fuzzy effect. Again, drag it to match the video's length. This effect enriches the video and adds a terrifying atmosphere. Next, let's focus on the two overlaid videos. To emphasize Jim's inner turmoil and separate the two videos, I'll add a black and white effect to the lower video. Search for black. There are many styles. Black noise seems good. Drag it to the timeline. Since effects can only be applied on top of the video, adjust the layering of the upper video. Add a dizzy effect to the top video. Then, find the cut and invisible person effects and apply them to the next two videos. CapCut offers a variety of effects so feel free to choose the ones that best enhance your video's atmosphere. This requires a lot of experimentation and editing skills. I'll be teaching more editing techniques and skills in future tutorials. Stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. Keep watching till the end, as I'll be showing you the important parts of video editing. Let's talk about how to use keyframes. In the first video, we see Jim walking forward. If the camera could zoom in on his face, it would enhance the scene. To achieve this, I'll add a keyframe. Slide the timeline until Jim gets closer to the camera, showing a more terrified expression. At this point, in the top right panel under Transform, you'll find a little diamond icon. Click it to set the initial keyframe. Then, at the end of the video, change the video size to set up the second keyframe. You might notice the video moving out of frame. This is because we need to set another keyframe for the position. Click the keyframe icon and adjust the frame's position. Go back to the initial keyframe position on the timeline and adjust the frame accordingly. Now let's see how it looks. Jim gets closer and the camera zooms in on his facial details, perfectly transitioning the shot. Next, we can add some transitions to enhance the atmosphere and animation effects. The final, crucial step is to add essential audio effects. In the top left menu, go to Audio and search for Horror in the music search bar. CapCut offers a lot of music options, most of which are free.
After listening, choose a background track that matches the mood. I found a suitable track and dragged it onto the timeline, matching it to the length of the video. Click the delete right icon to trim the unnecessary part of the music. In the top left panel, adjust the fade out number and the volume of the music. To make the mini movie more engaging and entertaining, you can add alien sound effects. In the search bar, type weird alien noise The first option works well. Drag it onto the timeline, then use Ctrl plus C to copy it and Ctrl plus V to paste it next to each other. Trim the excess and give it a fade out as well. Look for other alien sound effects to layer in, enhancing the background sounds and making them richer. Now the mini movie is edited and ready to go. Click the export button in the top right corner and let's see the final result. If you enjoyed my video and found it helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. See you at the next one.